Hey, good morning, everybody. We're back here on another big job, pouring a house and garage. Big house, two car garage. Just getting ready, truck just mixed up. We're gonna prime the pump out right there. Take a look at the swamp over here. Yeah, once he gets it primed out, we'll probably give it another 15, okay. 15 or 20. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Probably 20. We got a 3,500 pound mix with fiber mesh. We got high range water reducer, so we can pour, you know, a seven inch slump. That makes pouring these a lot easier, you know, when the slump is right versus trying to pour a four and slump and killing yourself. You know, when you do this stuff every single day, you just, you know, you got to pour the right slump. You just, you're into it every day and it just weighs you out by the end of the year. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're still good to go come late in the year. Ball's stretching that boom out, making sure he can reach. Looks like he's going to have enough. Just about, just about to the max of his reach though. Go, How far does that go, Paul? I'm good. With that rubber hose on, boss, I'm good for 110 feet from center of turret. 110 feet, yep. How many meters is that? A 38 and a half. 38 and a half meters. Yeah, you all set? Here we go, big dog. It's going to be a little dry to start. Yeah, so you're making me use mainly again. I know, Bob. Jeez, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I try. I try to give you as much notice as I, I possibly can. I right? Know. I know you're so busy. It's crazy. Everybody boss. wants you because you're so good. I mean, it's well, just, no, boss. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's just a big nuts. difference. It's nuts already going mad. People know they can count on you when they call you. You're going to show up, yes, and sir. you know, it's a, that's a whole big deal right there. Yep. I enjoy working with you guys. So. I oh, have. same with us. They're professionals. Just ready to go. We just do it. Should be getting into the new stuff, so if it needs a little more, I'll let him know. No, I think he's he's just pumped that out, I think. Yeah, we're all about into the good, the wet stuff right now, Dave. What do you want? 10 or 15? 15. 15. TV, give us 15. Look at that, there's ice there this morning. Yeah. <laughs> more ice. It's almost June. <laughs> oh, that discoloration, I don't have to do my <laughs> One down, three to go. It'd be nice to see another truck sitting there. I mean, the, the gap between the trucks is too much. We should have another truck sitting there waiting, all ready to go. But whenever you do a dangle pump job, I mean, they're always fast. So, really want those trucks back to back. There he is. We'll go slow and easy. Yep. It's like, well, you're home, but you're not home. I'd like 
gonna come outside with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. He'll talk and talk unless you tell him to get going. Feels pretty good with a bull foat. Not separating like it was before. All right, let's time the second truck from the time we stop pumping until we get it all bullfrog. Let's see how long it takes us. So it's right, right now it is 7.47. 7.47, I don't know if you see that. Let's see how long it takes us to completely empty this truck, get it screeded and get it bullfrogged. We've got about 10 yards on, so we gave him 10 gallons of water which usually changes the slump about, you know, one, a one. So if we had a six inch slump, we now have about a seven inch slump, which is about what we want, six and a half, seven with the, with the high range water reducer. And that's why we put it in there. So without, without the high range water reducer, this slump right now would probably be around a three and a half or a four. You know, then you add the high range water reducer and it, it just bumps it up to about a seven, so that's that's why we use it, that's why we pay extra for it. Alright, so truck's empty. 757, so it took 10 minutes to get the concrete out of the truck. Now let's see how long it takes us to get it screeded and bolt loaded. Where you can from here to here, then if you got to go outside there and make one that way, you can. For about a six and a half, seven. Six and a half, seven. Yeah, it should be pretty close, but you might want to check it one more time. Got it. If it was 80 today, obviously we wouldn't do it, right? We'd just deal with the bleed water. So, right. so what, when it's time to tie it, you're going to take over? These guys? These guys yeah. and the daughter. Yeah, we're going to see what time it is. She's all done both of them. Time is it? 817. About 30 minutes. Start to finish for that one truck. Pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, go ahead, I'll move. You go ahead, I'll work around you. Oh, it's all right. Probably strike that one right there. Let's 
I think he can use that. Let's try it. Break that one, and we can come down a little bit there. And... This one here? Yep. Yeah. Why don't you just use the tent right over there? All right, I'll go grab the tent for that. If you maybe you can pull this down a little bit. Moscada! Oh, we just empty him right out, huh? Still cough! Yeah, we'll go right up there and just get rid of him. Hey, Pretty thick back here, so. Go like four or five feet all the way across and turn around and come back if you don't run out. About six inches right here, so. One more bay. Two or three strokes? Yeah. You got it left in you? Yeah. You can do it. Now take a breath. Your time to shine, Paul. Whew, you ain't even sweating yet, Javi. What's up? You're in too good a condition or what? <laughs> Doing them walls and footings. He's drying up, he's drying up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, tell me where you're watching the video from, and we'll see you on the next one.